Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Tezos. Just want to do an update here because I've been tracking the Tezos uh, chart for a while now. And that was, I think, since we were down here and were breaking out um, to the upside here and making nice gains. And the most recent one uh, pullback here we are, might be just about to finish. You know, we're going up from here. It, it looks a bit like. And to be honest, Tezos is holding fairly well. In my last video, I showed you this potential bull flag here of Tezos. I did tell you, I think, that we could come down to the golden pocket in that retracement here, which is the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, and that was at 681. Now we've come down to that, actually slightly below that, but we um, found support eventually, and now we are back at nearly $7. So in my view, that is looking all good. And we can also see that the target of this cup and handle was actually at around 1150, which is also the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. So that works together quite well. In my view, there is a um, high chance that we can actually get there. Now, what do we need to see? So we can currently actually see, in my view, an increasing trend. We can see an increase in momentum and you don't see that very often at the moment in the current phase, actually, because if we go back to the daily here, <coughs> sorry, we can actually see that um, yeah, in my view, the uptrend is actually um, going a bit faster because what you can see is we have this trend line here that we can define, but from here we can actually identify a more steep trend line, which is this one. And in my view, should we really break below that, you know, then we can go back to this trend line, which is currently at around 5, 515, you know, um, and if we go back to the four hour chart, we can identify this um, trend line a little bit better and maybe I have to readjust it here on the shorter term time frame. We can go to the um, just the candle bodies and let me see if that would work out possibly even even that. So we can have it either way either like that or like that using the wicks um, and that is just personal preference to be honest. I oftentimes use the bodies and the bodies in this case would give us more <coughs> sorry more touch points actually so guess it would be more like that and that would indicate that we are still above this trend line you can see how we found support here and that is actually quite a good sign so if we hold that level i think then we could break out of this channel to the upside and if you can see this channel breaking i think that would be a nice signal i think tesos is holding up fairly well at the moment in the current space now, there is a chance that we drop from here and that level we shouldn't get below six, I would say below 675. We shouldn't drop below that if we drop below that or at least below 660, which is that low here. Yeah, If we break below that low here, then I think we can easily go down further, could even go down here to 550, as I just said, which is that low here. So, however, if we manage to break to the upside, then we have really good chances that in the first instance we can get up to where we've got this high here at 790. Then we've got the next one at 840 and the main one here at around 875 to $9. So there's a bit of a range here. And if we get above that, then we have good chances to get to this high of around 1150. So I think Tezos at the moment, despite the current environment, is holding up fairly well. We're nearly breaking the $7 again. Um, but yeah, we have to watch that line. Nobody can tell you if we are holding that or not, <coughs> in my view, um, because Tesla is holding so well. And we've got this line here together with the moving average, which is coming in here as support. We should be holding that, but that is no guarantee. We just need to watch it. We also, one more indicator why we could be holding it is we are still in the bullish range on the daily RSI above 50. And we're just hitting the 50 line, which could give us some additional support here. We also still have a long signal on the ADX. And um, even though the MACD made a um, yeah, sell signal, basically a bearish crossover, we have overall, I think, quite a good setup here, making higher highs, having an increase in the momentum, having a potential breakout point, having a long signal on the ADX, and are in the bullish range on the RSI with a lot of scope to the upside, in my view. And also we are close to the breakout point of that cup here. Um, that would be a really nice potential just want to make you aware of it guys and in my view if you can see this um, channel here break at the upside and i think the value would be at around 760 here if we can see that level breaking 
then we can get to these levels that I've just told you, um, all the way up to potentially 1150. Now the 1150 won't be reached in one day, you know that. It's a bit of an up and down potentially that could lead us to that. But to be honest, if you look at the <coughs> how quickly we moved up here from the 29th of September to the 3rd of October in, you know, in just these massive price increases in this short period, we could in the next move up really potentially even get to that level. But maybe we need another one. All right. Hopefully you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.